This workshop in X Factory meant a lot to us. Besides introducing our project and CatNet and synthetic biology, we also obtained many useful feedback from our audience who are uh, hardware designers, teachers, government officials, artists, and even primary school students. We introduced the concept of Symbio and how it is applied to solve problems in IGEM. Then we talked about project as well as the blueprint of a kitty wonderland that provides a shelter for stray cats, using that telectone as the attraction. Our eager audiences asked many questions regarding the principle as well as the safety of Symbio and our design. Initially, we wanted to design with electrical circuits that use catnip oil to attract cats. Then when the cat came, the device sensed it and shut the door automatically. But in order to prevent other animals from entering accidentally, we need a design that can tell the difference between cats and other animals. Um, at first, we thought of machine learning using a smart camera uh, that can recognize a cat's face, but it would be very expensive and time consuming. Uh, but having watched a video of a corky struggling to jump upstairs, I was reminded the excellent ability of felines to jump high. So I chose to elevate our house to a height that can only be reached by felines. After interviewing our straight cat rescue team in Beijing, we started to worry about that our device facing vandalism. And then we discussed that with the professional designers like John Henry and Li Ru in the X Factory. And then, yeah, John agreed and said that men are the biggest confounding variable in your field study. Based on that wheel, we modified our pressure sensitive system for closing the door into an integrated system of someone using camera to monitor the cats and then when it's needed, the person shut the door remotely. This will not only enhance the accuracy of beholding, but also provide solid evidence once vandalists act. But what about that? Yeah!